slithering in at number eight, say hello to Titana Boa. It all looks like fun and games until someone gets squeezed to death by a Titana Boa. This mechanical monster was built by artist Charlie Brinson and his team in Calgary, Canada. But how does clever engineering make a robot slither like a snake? Snakes have a very effective way of moving. They are covered in scales that make them very smooth uh, if you rub them one way, but then they are actually quite rough if you rub them the other way. And this allows them to get traction against the ground, and it allows them to push on the ground and basically move in a forward direction. So the snake scales grip the ground to slither along. But how can a robot pull off a similar maneuver? So this is the very same principle that these engineers are using with a robot snake. But instead of building scales and making skin, they attach a set of wheels on the robot body. And wheels function the same way as a scale. If you ever try to roll a wheel forward, it's very easy. If you try to roll or slide the wheel sideways, not so easy. So what the robot does when it's slithering forward, it uses the wheel's sideway friction to hold off against, and that way it can push itself forward. So it's pretty cool, it gets the slithering snake motion by using the sideways friction concept. 